Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of a Scorpio. For love and relationship for the month of August 2024. So it's your family, family from your past or family like you know, that you know already or someone that you have really family with, uh, husband, wife, it doesn't matter, they need or require your attention because I get here this person love you and want to be with you. And you are ignoring that person and you want really to have control over that person and you don't want them anymore. Anyway, I see a new love for you. You are happy, you are in charge, in control for your life, happiness, excitement, fulfillment. And you are walking away from the spouse and you say, oh, oh, I'm not really going to be there anymore. You know, you made up your mind. Okay. Well, whatever makes you happy, dear Scorpio. You are changing your direction into someone that you just met recently. It could be work-related, I get that. This person, I get here that as soon as they saw you, that's the new love, they think that they know you already or saw you before or dealt with you before like you are a soulmate. But they are not giving you any attention. As soon as they saw you, they felt the, the love instantly like you did. You do an effort to, to work uh, with them or chat with them sometimes or laugh or joke around or flirt with them a little bit here and there. And they are like, oh, no, don't do, do me that way. So they are blocking everything. <laughs> okay. You are changing your direction about your relationship or it could be marriage or something right and this person is kind of like I'm not really sure I'll talk to you whenever I'm ready and you are like talk to me now <laughs> you might really end up divorcing the person that you were married to because they haven't been really there with you maybe away from you for a long time maybe you walked away from them they walked away from you it could really happen both ways and they could not commit you're not committed to a husband or a wife here and i get here that you keep really having anxiety about this person that's the husband or wife okay the spouse let's say the spouse you're lucky with this relationship like you know with the new love i get here that you know you you want to change you want something you want really something beautiful to happen and you don't find like you know, this other person giving you attention. It's a new thing, a new relationship. It could be a month, it could be it, uh, two. It could be even like in a couple of weeks. I get here three weeks for some of you. This person like you know, will, will be talking to you. They have a good intention, but they don't know what to do yet. It's kind of like they are surprised that everything is going so quick, so fast with their emotions. Maybe they get scared and when you start really want to talk to them, you scare them more and they shut the door in a way that some of them blocked you already from calling or coming forward because they don't understand you, they don't know you, and you are rushing into something. So they are kind of like, I don't know what to do. And you are like, what happened? What did I do? I just met with this person. But you cannot help like you know, these really beautiful emotions, excitement, Beautiful energy, like you don't know what to do exactly. It says here it's from both sides, but he or she didn't want to give it attention. You did something or said something unintentional, and they get scared. But they keep staring at you. Look at this person. They keep looking at you. They keep staring at you. 
and you are concerned. It's like, okay, they don't want to do anything. Why do they keep staring at me? They love your body, attracted to your body, attracted to you physically. They look at you like you know, really someone who's really valuable. They like the way you dress also. Nice, attitude, features. They want intimacy with you, they wish on you, but they are in a struggle. He or she might be in a relationship, huh? Yeah. Either engaged to be married or married or someone that's in a relationship. Uh, but it's kind of like they will get to know you outside work not really inside work or a place like, you know, that you meet with. It's a home, it's a house. I feel like, you no, know, it's a big house. Uh, it could be a studio. It could be like, you know, really something um, in a building also. Or it could be like, you know, at workplace, like, you know, because it's work related, something like that. This is how it starts here. The person is attracted to you, though, very, 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 very much. As soon as, like, you know, they saw you, they think you are their soulmate, you have been really uh, connected with each, each other before. They will be coming around, though, but give them more time. They need more time. Don't rush and say, oh, my God, I'm going to go and attack them and kiss them and hug them and tell them I love you, I care for you, I'm so crazy about you. Don't do that. Please do not do that. Okay, give them some time. This person will come around. They need more time. Okay. Oh, you love this person so much. Oh my God. You feel like they, you know them forever. You, it's kind of like, I don't know. Do I love them? Do I care for them? Am I obsessed with that person or what is it? <laughs> and you feel like you know, this person is draining you the more you think about them because they think about you a lot too. Ooh, okay. Coming through changes. He or she will open up. They will open up. They will open up more. But don't scare them. Don't rush it. Really, like, yes, it's a new relationship and it's happening so fast, so quick. But don't rush it. Don't really go crazy because the other person is like, Oh, stay away from me, or they are doing this, or, oh my God. Yeah. Okay. They are just afraid. You will get your wish, but you are spacey. You cannot focus on anything. Oh my God. You want to see this person every minute. Uh, you're going to see more shed lights about the person. You will see, like, you know, what they are up to, why they are not really behaving that way. And I get here, they are not really... It's possible that you can be really attracted to someone, obsessed with someone, in love with someone, and they don't have any emotions or feelings for you at all. It is possible. It is possible that you and this person, I, this person have the same feeling, the same emotions, the same thing, but they get scared, I tell you. It is possible also for two to have this positive energy, complete, crazy love, that struck you suddenly and you end up like they're not being together at all because of another person in their life and they don't know what to do and they don't want to leave them. So that's the sad part. So pay attention to your really behavior with this person. I know you are not really doing too much, but to tell them, hey, hey, you know, I cannot wait to see you. And it says here, ease up or they will block you completely. They will come around, they will talk to you, they'll speak to you, they will explain everything to you. They need more time to come to you, not so fast, so quick, and you get your desire. Will you end up together with this person? Let's see. Scorpio met with a new person that they are really crazy about. Are they going to end up with them in a committed relationship or marriage or dating or do anything? It doesn't matter.
You have to be divorced from the other one for you to be really lucky you know, with this person, first number one. Second, I get here that there is a chance for you to like you know, in the next year. It's because you might not end up with this person because your spouse want to work things out. They want to come to you and they want to live with you forever. So the other person... You might end up in an affair with, you might really just leave it alone. And there is a possibility for some of you to end up with this person if you let go of the other person in your life completely, 100%, and give time for that person too. Okay? It might be an affair because the other person I also, I don't see that, you know, they might really leave the other person in their life too. And that's what you don't want. You know, you want this person for yourself only. So you need to give it some time to study the situation before rushing and jumping into it really so much. You know, and also don't kill everything like you know, in the knife immediately as soon as they don't want to talk to you and say, oh my God, there is something wrong. And you try, you try until you get rejected completely. Do not do any attempts attempt with this person. They feel you, they can see you, they know you're attracted to them, they are attracted to you too, and they will come to you in time, just give them some time. And this person is not gonna hurt you, they they have a good intention. Um, this person is a good person, yeah. And you are too, you deserve the best. I hope you end up together, but the reading said something different, I'm sorry. <laughs> Best of luck for you, dear Scorpio, and I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. The link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. Click on reading prices. Look at the prices, all of it. Choose what you want. Purchase your reading. Give me a call. My phone number is listed on my website. Any information you need is in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.